Hi there. Welcome. It is Deborah Kagan, and we are here <laughs> for your mojo moment of the day. And um, and I really love doing these for you. And I, I'm thinking you're still digging these. This all started as a big old experiment at the beginning of the year um, based on a conversation that I was having with a dear friend who also is an accountability partner. And we were talking at the end of last year, and I said, oh my gosh, what about doing like a live pretty much every single day of this coming year? So be careful what you say, <laughs> because a lot of times you will create it. Um, so yes, our words do have power. And these are uh, simple, easy tools, tips, inspiration, and information for you to keep your mojo rocking most of the time. That's what these mojo moments are about. And to remind you, for those of you who are here sometimes, and certainly welcome to those of you who are here for the first time, these are happening live um, as of the live recordings, Monday through Friday at the 1 p.m. Pacific hour, unless for some reason I'm on an airplane or something like that's going on. But speaking of airplanes, uh, which I do travel a bit, and I love, love to travel, because, um, you know, do you like traveling? It kind of like makes you feel like, at least for me, I'm like, oh, we're going someplace, and it's an adventure. And if you know me, you know I love me some adventure. Uh, so speaking of traveling, today we're going to talk about, you know, it's as of this live video, it's summer. Many of you do travel in the summer. You might have kids, and you're traveling for some of your vacations with them. <laughs> maybe you're single, and you're just traveling for yourself. Um, and maybe you're doing some family stuff. However, a lot of people do tend to do more traveling in the summer. And one of the things that I absolutely, 100%, always travel with are essential oils. Essential oils are incredible for many, many reasons. I could do a ton of lives on essential oils. And if there's something specific you would like to know about in terms of essential oils, write it in a comment below and, um, and I'll maybe do a live on it. Um, but, uh, you know, essential oils have so many different ways you can use them, um, reasons you can use them. Personally, I'm a big fan of anything that is healthy and sustainable for you and for the planet, um, and that will naturally keep your mojo flowing. And that's what it's one of the things essential oils can do. And whenever I travel, I always, always bring essential oils with me. I write about essential oils. It's one of the uh, it's one of the lessons in the Find Your Me Spot book. Um, and and again, I talk about this all the time with my private clients. In fact, I just made them a special blend actually for mindset confidence. Um, that was a gift I gave to them recently. So, for you and what would be helpful for you in terms of any of your summer travels, here's what I bring pretty much every time on an airplane with one special edition for the summer specifically. So this is my little travel bag for my oils. I don't know if you can see it says, well, anyway, that says girl power. <laughs> so I have this little bag that I take my oils with me. They're all, um, you know, TSA size and all the rest of that. So I take them on the plane. And I want to show with you. Uh, show with you. I want to show you what I use because I think it's pretty important. And by the way, let's just talk about this. Not all essential oils are made the same. The only ones that I use as of the last really three years now, actually, the only ones I use are from uh, a company called DoTerra. I only use them at this point because. The, you know, um, oh, I don't want to go down a whole rabbit hole of essential oils 101. However, most essential oils that you find out in stores these days are actually more toxic than helpful. And it's basically, it's based on their the process with which they are made. Of course, the source from which they get their materials to make the um, oils 
And the thing I love about doTERRA is they're certified therapeutic grade essential oils, meaning most of them you can use on your body or in your body. So they're safe for you to take internally as well, which is pretty amazing. Um, and also I love indigenous cultures and uh, communities around the world in helping them to sustain themselves and their families and by um, doing co-impact sourcing with them to not only help the families, they're also helping the planet and the farming in a way that is sustainable for the planet instead of raping and pillaging, frankly, the planet. So that's the only brand that I like to use. It's called, wait, doTERRA. No, here, doTERRA. <laughs> that's the only brand I like. All right, so by the way, this is the first thing that I crack out when I get on the airplane. Um, it is their On Guard um, spray. Okay, so this is a uh, great for antibacterial, antiviral. I take this sucker out. I spray it on those screens that everyone's been touching with their fingers, on the armrests, on the dirty, nasty table, you know, little tray table that you're using. Spray this all over, and then I wipe it down, you know, with some tissues. Throw that stuff away. But now we're creating a beautiful, clean surface for uh, you to enjoy your travels with. So. That's my first line of defense <laughs> um, when I get on the airplane. So it's the first thing I use. Then I use the roller, by the way, so these are roller bottles versus um, a straight up essential oil bottle. And I like to travel with these because there's really no spillage, right? So it's a roll on situation. Um, they're a lot easier to travel with. So I like that too. And if you have sensitive skin, these uh, these roll-ons are actually the oil cut with some fractionated coconut oil. So it's um, uh, it's 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 better for those of us with sensitive skin. Now this is the on guard. Wait, I'm trying to find get you. Wait, come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. This is the on guard um, essential oil. So my next thing after I've sprayed down the whole place, I take this guy and slather it all over my chest, back of my neck. Sometimes I'll even do my low back. Because this guy, also antibacterial, antiviral, by the way, none of this is approved by the FDA. I need to say that for just legal <laughs> legal reasons. Um, but these are the reasons I use them. So it's not approved by FDA. Just letting you know in terms of these claims. However, this is why I use them. Um, so I put this on my chest because, again, you're breathing all sorts of airplane air, and you really want to protect your, um, you know, your respiratory system because a lot of times colds will begin, right, as chest cold, you get a sore throat. Uh, so the on guard is the first thing that I slather on. Then the next thing I put on on the airplane. Oh, no, that's not it, is this guy. Breathe. So this is a blend, just like On Guard is one of their blends. Breathe is exactly what it says, right? To help you <clears throat> breathe and have good, um, a healthy respiratory system. So I literally, I put this right, <laughs> right in the opening of my nose. And sometimes I'll also put it over my sort of throat, top of chest area. Okay, so again, it's this. It's like um, you know how so some people use Bengay, right, on their chests or whatever. This is like a natural Bengay, and I like to do it here because then you're actually breathing the essential oil, which gives you a nice barrier um, from getting whatever airborne loveliness is on an airplane. So that's the second thing that I do once I get on the plane. Then um, to, let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh, sometimes, by the way, even before I get on the airplane, because this is a bottom of the feet thing. Bottom of the feet, by the way. The bottom of your feet, um, if you know anything about reflexology or in terms of our energetic um, pulse points, the bottoms of our feet can actually absorb a lot of uh, information like literally energetically and physically so when you use oils or herbs um, they're like herb packs um, uh, traditional Chinese medicine actually does a lot of herb 
packs that you can put on the soles of your feet um, while you sleep. So the, the soles of our feet are, are wonderful places to put essential oils to support you in however you'd like to be supported. So before I get on the airplane, what I'll do is I will use oregano oil um, on the bottoms of my feet. And frankly, if you're at home or you're feeling like you might be getting a cold, this is a really good one. So I put that on the bottom of my feet. Great protection as well. So that's the oregano oil. So those that's kind of like my airplane. Um, those are my non-negotiables for, for once you get on the airplane. Now, if you're doing a road trip and driving and all this, you might not need to you know, do this whole regimen. Um, but these are obviously good to have while you're traveling because, again, Oregano, if you feel like you're getting um, a cold or anything, or if you're feeling sort of fluey, great thing to just nip it in the bud, get that on the bottoms of your feet. Of course, the Breathe and the On Guard, also just a good healthy medicine cabinet. Okay, let's whip out what else is in my travel case here. All right, the other things that I keep in my travel case, I actually do keep this one. It's, um, it's Rose. So Rose, you know, it's one of the highest, uh, it's one of the highest vibrations. I just love to smell it. I have fresh roses growing in my garden all the time. But I'll slather this on my heart chakra. Um, also to stay, you know, open hearted and to keep the love vibration strong. And that's a good one, of course, anytime, but certainly when you're traveling. It's a great thing to have to um, allow yourself to be open, to be connected, to really come from a space of, um, you know, authenticity and uh, generosity, right? So I keep that one with me. This one, well, I use this one weekly um, when I get massaged. This is called Deep Blue. This is another one of their special blends. And this is like a natural tiger's balm if you know what tiger's balm is. This shit, oh my gosh, on the shoulders, right? If you're feeling, I mean, if you have tense shoulder, tense neck, any sore back, if your feet are hurting after a day of, you know, um, sightseeing, great thing to just slap around your feet and, and get give yourself a massage, have somebody else give you a foot massage. But Deep Blue is amazing to support muscle um, uh, rebalancing and, uh, you know, restoration, really. So that one, like I said, every week I'm using this at when I get a massage. So I always travel with that as well. And um, what else we got here? Oh, okay. This is um, frankincense, which is literally kind of like liquid gold, honestly. If it's, I mean, hello, it's biblical. Um, it's been written about in the Bible. But frankincense, I, mean, I, I you know, there, there are many things that you can Google what frankincense is supported with and it's a lot. So I always keep this nearby. And this is something that I might even put on my temples or just on the back of my neck um, or low spine, because again, those are places that absorb the oil very powerfully to um, get into your system via your skin, right? And all these roll-ons you're using topically, as opposed to if you have the liquid, you can use it internal. So I keep frankincense with me all the time. And then for all my people who have sensitive tummies, <laughs> um, this is the Digest Zen Blend. And I can tend to have a sensitive tummy. You know, it's really hilarious. Like for all, anybody who knew me back in high school, <laughs> and I know some of you do watch this and I'm grateful for that. Um, this is what we pass around at my dinner parties now. <laughs> so. Y'all, if you didn't know me back then, you can only imagine what we would pass around at dinner parties way back in the day. But it wasn't essential oils. So Digest Zen is really, really great for your belly, and it's hilarious. We do pass this around um, at dinner parties, and you just rub it on your belly. Because if you've had a big meal, or if your tummy hurts later on, you ate something funny, this is brilliant to rub on your belly so that um, you can aid your digestion and not be so bloated and uncomfortable. Okay, so those are all the normal ones that I keep in my travel kit. The one additional one, which I don't have the roller of, um, this is a regular bottle, but this is, especially for summer and bug time, this guy, oops, is a blend called Terra Shield. 
this is bug repellent. So this is a fan, they, they make a spray of this as well for bug repellent. But this is fantastic. You can put this in a diffuser and have it in whatever, wherever you are um, to help repel bugs. You can, of course, put it on your body. I slathered this on myself um, when I was in Fiji earlier this year before I would go to bed. And it really helped prevent um, bug bites. So Terra Shield is a great one for the summer months to keep those nasty bugs away. All right, um, that is some summer travel and essential oil mojo wisdom for you. If you have any questions about essential oils, um, if you're like, where do I start? These are all great places to start. If you are wondering how the heck do I get these, I'm gonna put a link in the um, uh, right here in the post for you. So you can click on that and you can get a hold of these uh, doTERRA oils, because again, they're the only ones I'll use at this point, and they are super um, healthy. They are sourced very ethically and with um, with a lot of love and consideration for, again, the planet, the places that they're coming from, and the communities that they're supporting. And that is Mojolicious in my world. Um, but so I'll put that link there so you can get the uh, doTERRA and um, and that way you can also get, uh, I can extend the wholesale um, pricing to you. And if you have any questions, again, just comment below or feel free to direct message me and I'll be happy to turn you on to the best oils for whatever you're working with. Or if you're like, I've never used them before, tell me more. I'll make sure that you get the, uh, the best information for you and where you're at because all of these are ways to support your mojo in a healthy and very sensually empowered way, because of course these oils um, activate your sense of smell. And as you know, when you consciously activate your senses, you automatically turn up the level of your own embodiment being in your body, which turns the volume dial up on your mojo. All right, everybody, this has been your mojo moment for the day. I love you lots, and uh, I'm here for you, Monday through Friday in the 1 o'clock Pacific hour. Uh, so that is the scoop. If you know somebody that's, like, traveling a lot and you think this would be really helpful for them, tag them below and feel free to share this video. All right. Mwah. Much love, and until the next one, get out there and go rock your mojo like only you, 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 only you can. All right, bye for now.